You'll notice that I'm starting with a spread that's already been painted. I'm starting by laying down a stencil. I'm going to go in with my heavy gesso and my palette knife, and I'm going to create some interesting textures. I'm adding a little bit of color with Dilution's Shimmer Spray. And I'm grunging up the edges with my Stabilo Pencil. Pastels on this spread are beautiful, but I am interested in darkening everything up. Now I'm going in with a light wash of color with the Distress Oxide, just sweeping up and down. And patting wherever more color needs to be. Here's our second shade of the Dilution's Shimmer Spray. Here's a close-up of our work so far. You'll notice that this is the first tutorial or first uh, bit video where I will not be showing the creation of my focal point. I, f I kind of figured it was starting to take up a little bit too much time on my, uh, on my tutorials. I didn't want you getting bored on me. Here I'm going in with a second stencil black craft paint, and a makeup sponge. And I'm just creating some more noise on my background. You'll notice that, yes, I am working on two pages, but our focus, or at least the completed project for today, is on the right-hand side, where my focal image is. So what I'm doing right now is I am making that left page different in some way from the right page. Similar, fine, yes, but I also, I don't want this to be a two page spread. I simply chose to work on two pages at the same time.
creating more interest with more patterns. This is just paint on uh, some bubble wrap. And still just using that black craft paint and that makeup sponge. So now that I'm done playing with that left hand page, I'm going in with my Stabilo pencil all around my focal image. As always, I will link the products that I'm using in the description box below. I felt like this top corner needed a little more something something, so I'm just adding a little hash marks with my Posca paint pen. You can see I already put some dots in the background there. And then with a black Posca paint pen, I'm outlining the edges of my focal image. And yes, I realized that I did assemble my focal image off camera. But I also wanted to mention, as you saw during our close-up, that there is a ton of texture on this page. So I actually assembled my focal image over some thicker watercolor paper, just so that my, my focal image wouldn't buckle or kind of like sink into the cracks from what we created in the very beginning with the bubble stencil and the heavy gesso. And here I'm having a little more fun with my alphabet stamps and my stays on ink. Just grabbing a letter and just kind of going for it. And then I'm grunging up a little bit more on the edge of the page with the stays on ink pad. Going around the edges, bringing it in slightly, kind of dragging it around, get some streakiness going on. just a little more color with the Distress ink pad. Here, there, and everywhere. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have time, if this is your jam, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye guys.